It's great to have your company for the weekly this Friday the 18th of June. I'm Jessica Ramir, a Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. With the Aussie share market smashed another record high this week, hitting 7,406 points on Wednesday. And the financial sector helped the market get there too. Standouts in the finance sector Monday to Thursday were net wealth up 7%, Hub24 up 6%, with the technology platform shares hitting a record high. Diving to the detail, the best performers in the main indices were ventilator company ResMed RMD up 10%, hospital patient monitoring business ProMedicus up 8 both stocks hit record highs and shares in personal loan business MoneyMe MME they gained 20%. Their shares also joined the all-time high club too. While TV and newspaper firm Seven West Media rose 19% to a yearly high. On the downside, Whitehaven Coal and American Pacific Borites both lost 14% and gold producer Northern Star and industrial mineral firm Adrometer Metals both fell 12%. But let's think about what's driving markets because a lot happened economically this week supporting further stock market growth, particularly banking and consumer spending stocks. We learnt this week the US economy is growing quicker than expected. The US Federal Reserve reckons the US economy will grow 7% this year, so now they're ready to tap on the brakes, signalling they'll likely raise interest rates twice by 2023. So this means US banks will likely be making more money uh, if mortgage rates increase, which supports US bank stocks moving higher. On the downside though, higher rates are generally bad news for markets because it means companies with high debt will see their profits squeezed. Back home in Australia, we learned the Aussie unemployment rate fell to 5.1%. That was a level that we weren't expected to see until the end of 2021 rather. And Aussies, they're working more hours too. Hours worked a 3% higher than before COVID. So this supports banks and consumer spending stocks because more people have got jobs, they're spending more and they're borrowing more. And as for the technical indicators that some investors and fund managers look at, well, they're also suggesting the Aussie market could be headed higher too and could get to over 7,500 points in the short term. The daily, weekly and monthly moves of the market, they've been bullish for some time, suggested by the upward trend lines that have formed. Now, these indicators simply tell us the market rally is healthy and is likely to continue. But what's really interesting is the number of shares being traded or turned over or bought and sold, known as volume, is at an 18 year low. That's on a monthly basis. So although the market is at an all time high, investors are cautious and that's why the market is moving up very, very quietly. Um, we also know that some fund managers are holding larger amounts of cash. Households are too. Saving rates are at historical highs. So why are investors cautious and holding more money? Well, a couple of reasons. US corporate taxes, they're likely to be hiked soon. That'll dent 2022 corporate earnings. Secondly, the Fed will reduce the amount of bonds that they buy. So this will take the cap off bond yields, meaning bond yields will likely rise further. This is generally not good for the stock market, but when we do see bond yields rise, we know that banks generally do well. The third reason markets are cautious, inflation. US consumer prices are tipped to grow 3.4% this year. In Australia, prices aren't tipped to grow that much. The RBA reckons inflation will sit between 2 and 3% by 2023. So factoring all this in, what are some trading ideas worth a thought? Well, although Aussie inflation is low, farmers will probably tell you otherwise. And the agricultural industry actually looks pretty good. It's moving up for three reasons. Firstly, poultry prices are up 23% this year at a record high. Hog prices are up over 60%. Beef prices are up 16% to a record. And Aussie white sheep ewes are selling at record levels. This week, a ewe sold for a record $988 a head. That was $400 over reserve thanks to surging demand. Now, the second reason the agricultural industry looks good, demand is likely to grow. We know as part of the UK trade deal, Aussie beef and lamb will now be encouraged to be bought in the UK for up to 15 years. The third reason the ag industry looks good, the ag body A Bears reckons Aussie farmers will sell a record $66 billion of produce this year. So companies like livestock, grain and farm business elders, 
and Beef Company, Australian Agricultural Co. AAC, will likely be making more money this year along with grain business, Grain Corp GNC. Bill Potter reiterated ELD as a buy with a $13.75 target. Macquarie and City both re-stamped ELD as a buy this week too. Macquarie has got a $13.96 target. And Bill Potter expects ELD's earnings to rise 20% in a year, citing that they'll benefit from high livestock prices, high wool prices, which are up 20% this year, plus they'll also benefit from improved crop conditions. And from a technical perspective, those who like to read charts, they'll probably see that ELD's chart is suggesting that their shares will likely rally up and so could Grain Corp GNC. And so what to watch next week though, there's a bit of economic news to watch. Australian retail sales data out on Monday for May and we'll get a services sector pulse check on Wednesday known as PMI. Now PMI or the Purchases Managing Index is simply a closely watched forward indicator that tells us how much consumers and merchants have been spending on services. So it's closely watched by traders, investors and the RBA, particularly as services account for 70% of economic activity. If the reading is stronger or weaker than expected, and it's likely to be positive I might add, but either way, uh, if it's weaker than expected, it could move the market lower. If it's better than expected, it could bolster markets. And that's the weekly. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section on YouTube. From all of us here at Bell Direct, have a happy and safe weekend. I'm Jessica Ramirez. Bye for now.